Controversy now surrounds the management of Nairobi County Public Toilets after a group of youth who claimed to have the backing of the county government moved in and took over the running of a number of the facility dotting the city. Tuko kama groups za youth tuweza kuendea governor's uncle na county government ya Nairobi. Na tukaweza kupewa barua na tukakata license na tukaanza kulipa rent. Na ikawa sasa sisi ndio tutadumisha usafi hapa na tutakuwa tunazicontrol. Na tumekuwa tukiendelea vizuri. Lakini yule mtu kwa sababu alikuwa amemiliki ame, ame choo zikiwa mingi, sasa hataki kupoteza ile biashara. So hata kama lease yake ime expire, yeye anatumia mlango wa chini na kutumia askari vibaya waje wafurushe vijana. But an investor who claims to have put up the toilets 20 years ago is accusing the county government of Nairobi of sending goons to a victim from the toilets. Because the police were served, the county was served. And uh, I believe it is, it is high time we obeyed the law because I've heard there's so many people from the county who have rubbished the court order. They have called it a fake court order. But let us respect the law. It is important to respect the law. When Tom Makale claims the toilets are his brainchild and he still has a lease with the county government after having paid required fees. <laughs> Makala says he will pursue legal means as he was yet to recoup from his investment on the public pay toilets he set up in the city. Private partnership was, the arrangement was that you will build, operate, then you transfer them back to us, which I didn't have any problem, but you will recover your money from the public. The five shillings the public will be paying you is where you will, you will, you, you will accrue your, your profit, you will accrue uh, the, the money that you spent in building them up. Where is the compensation? Compensate me and I leave them for you. The director of operations at the city inspectorate department, Peter Mbaya, said although they recognized Makale as having rendered the services, they never renewed Makale's management lease and had also not recruited the state self-help group and the city management will be moving in very soon to manage the facilities after an executive decision was reached. Confusion which is there uh, the, the toilets used to be uh, to be contracted to some private individuals whose contract expired some few months ago. Now, before the county issued to maybe changes the management, then there was that confusion. So there are some young men or a group group of people who tried to take over the toilets. Now. And the previous owner also are still in the toilets. They have not moved yet, but we have given them notice and we are moving them out any time from this minute. So we'll throw them out and then we'll take over. The county government says the decision was to accord city dwellers better services, pledging to scrap the fee in the facilities. The county government of Nairobi has announced leadership and management changes in the running of the public toilets within the county, a move that has been met with opposition with private enterprises earlier on running these operations. But it's these tasks that have raised concerns among city dwellers in fear the services rendered could be compromised. Rose, Gakuo Channel 1, News Hour.